Macedonia's politicians have spent the past few weeks arguing about the extent of voting right for the diaspora. Macedonia has a unique treasure, a rare resource, the diaspora, Macedonians living abroad. They could provide Macedonia with a competitive advantage, a network of contacts and economic possibilities that it cannot generate by itself from within itself. But Macedonians academic, politicians and businessmen fear competition. They don't want the people from the diaspora to come here because they are better educated, better skilled, better experienced than they are. And they are afraid of competition. They want the country for themselves. This is unwise. Most nations of the world leverage their diasporas for the benefit of the homeland. Consider Israel, for instance. Israel has joined political structures with the Jewish nation, with the Jewish people. The World Jewish Congress even has decision-making powers regarding certain areas of Israel's existence. Israel also has a common sports event for the Jewish people. It's called the Maccabiad Games. These are the Olympic Games of the Jewish nation. Exchanges of students, exchanges of businessmen, professors, academics are very common throughout the world. Transfers, academic transfers, all these things bind together a homeland, a nation, wherever it is. Some countries establish funds allowing the diaspora to invest in various projects from reforestation to the preservation of national heritage. Other countries, such as France, embark on cultural activities and promote the, natural, the national language. Donations, scholarships, sponsorships from wealthy individuals in the diaspora are always welcome and they get special tax treatment in the home country. So all these things bind together the diaspora with the homeland. But where's the economic benefit? Why should the homeland open itself to the diaspora from the economic point of view? Well, the diaspora is the guarantor of economic prosperity in numerous countries around the world. Countries like China and Israel would have never made it to become as rich as they are without the diaspora. Israel, for instance, and Ireland spe sell special bonds to people in the diaspora. These bonds are very long term and with very low interest rate. Then there is investment in venture capital. Some countries have country funds allowing the people in the diaspora to purchase a representative sample of the national economy. The economic involvement of the diaspora in homelands throughout the world is very important and growing. Apart from political lobbying, the diaspora is the economic hinterland of the homeland, of the nation state. When people in the diaspora send money back home, it's called remittances. In Macedonia and in many other countries, even countries as big as Mexico, remittances constitute 15 to 20 percent of gross domestic product. That's 15 to 20 percent of the entire economy. But Macedonia is almost alone in the fact that it doesn't provide preferential treatment to remittances. Countries in South America, for instance, allow people to buy special bonds, special savings accounts. They are called remittance bonds. Other countries allow remittances to come in free of taxation. Yet other countries provide a favorable exchange rate when remittances are coming in. Only in Macedonia, remittances are not treated specially. So what more can Macedonia do? Various countries in the world, Israel, China, Venezuela, and even poor countries such as Uruguay and Ethiopia, encourage returning citizens. When citizens return from abroad to live back in the homeland, they get special tax treatment, they get loans to start businesses, and if they're highly skilled and highly trained and highly educated, they are also encouraged to find special employment opportunities. Macedonian investors from the, from the diaspora should get special treatment in Macedonia. They should enjoy a tax holiday. They should have unfettered access to decision makers. 
they should have their own court for foreign direct investment so that they don't have to go through the local judiciary, which they distrust. And they are allowed to open business incubators for startup businesses. The integration of Macedonia with the diaspora could make Macedonia a much bigger and prosperous country with a much bigger automatic market. There are well over 3 million Macedonians around the world in prime positions in business and academia. Migrant associations, networks of immigrants, networks of Gastarbeiters, these networks bring with them to the homeland, to the nation, not only knowledge, not only money, not only investment opportunities, but also contacts, access to export markets, new management techniques, new possibilities, and they open up the country to the world. If Macedonia wants to be integrated in the global economy, it has the key, and the name of the key is the diaspora.